Hello babies. So it is Wednesday and you know what Wednesday is? Wednesday is new comic book day. Ah. So now I work in a comic book shop as we discussed on Monday and that means that every single week I am going to tell you about my pulls for the week and all of these pulls are available every week at Green Brain Comics in Dearborn, Michigan. And check out this fun logo. Ooh. Okay. So this week was really light for me, partly because I picked up my comics last week. So uh, usually I'm like one of those people where uh, I get the phone call like, hey, Sarah, this is Dan from Green Brain Comics. Please come pick up your comics. And I'm like, ah. And then I continue to not pick up my comics for several weeks. So call them the throwing a brick through my window phone calls. And it's good. It's good times. Good, good times are had by all. So anyway, so now I work at the shop. And if you go into the shop, you will see on the wall, there's a beautiful label that says Sarah's picks. And we will get to my pick for this week that is up in the shop last. So this week I picked up three titles, one of which was from uh, last week, actually. And that one is Gwenpool. Number one, this was created by Chris Bacallo. I'm going to say everybody's name's wrong. Uh, writing by Hasties. Main story art was done by Guru Hiru. And, oh, I can't see my notes. Oh. And the um, prologue art was done by Danilo Bayruth. Probably said every single one of those names wrong. I'm really good at saying people's names wrong. So this one... We are, uh, Gwen Poole is getting her own, uh, storyline. So she appears first in Howard the Duck, and we find out that Gwen is from a dimension where all of the Marvel heroes and everything are just comic book heroes, and she somehow ends up in the world with them. So in this book, she is on her own, and she is going to be a, uh, merc for money, as it were. And this is very, um, this one is super my style of comic books, superhero comic books, where it's funny and the action is action-y, but also light. And I really like that. The art is super, super adorable and features very heavily on the color pink, as in Gwen's hair and her comic outfit. And it's just great. I really, really uh, like this. I had no idea what to expect. I'm not, uh, I haven't read very much like Deadpool. Uh, and a lot of my Marvel experience is um, kept to the lighter side of things. So this is really definitely my kind of comic book. Um, a lot of the jokes are really funny. Just the language in general is very funny. There's a good daredevil joke. Um, she <laughs> refers to uh, the ex-kids as turds, which I just, to teenagers as turds too. So she is um she's very funny, she's very endearing. You really do get the impression that she has no idea what she's in for and I suspect that it's gonna get um judging by the end of the book it's gonna get a little bit heavy for a little bit but you know heavy's okay we can deal with it uh because there will probably be a lot of um a lot of a lot of comic relief that'll be featured throughout it and that is a Deadpool thing as I have come to understand and I am excited to follow her. I'm very excited that she got her own book. I haven't um I haven't read Spider Gwen yet so I haven't actually read any Spidey books but I do love the lady superheroes so this one that may be where I uh, jump in. We'll have to see. I'll check them out at the store. So my next uh, pick poll from this week was Hawkeye number six, which was written by Lemire and the art and cover was done by Ramon Perez. Probably said those wrong. Again, this is the end of this story arc. So um, we get the end of Katie's kind of backstory. First we had the going back in time with Hawkeye and Barney and now we were kind of going back with um, how Katie first encountered Hawkeye and decided to become this. We also get kind of the end of um, the special kids, I hope. 
I really love Hawkeye. Like, really, really, really love Hawkeye. Uh, and I really have loved all of the books, especially the Fraction Aja one, obviously. Uh, and I do really, really like these. I'm never going to stop liking Hawkeye. Are these my favorite ones? But they're really good. It's uh, really interesting to get n kind of refreshers on how Hawkeye became Hawkeye and how Katie Hawkeye became Katie Hawkeye. I think that my problem was is that I was having a harder time following this part of the storyline with the Hydra and stuff like that. And that's not the book's fault. That's because I uh, read my comic books six months apart. So, um, and the art is beautiful. If you are a Hawkeye fan, this whole run is now complete and I imagine will be in trade soonish. So you can pick it up then if you don't want to start from the beginning. If you have been reading all of these, it's number six and it is, the storyline is complete and I am very excited to see what the next storyline is going to be. I'm very excited. Okay, so now, third comic of the week. Like I said, it was a really light week for me. And this was also my pick of the week in the store. So, and that is B and Puppy Cat number 11. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that this was my pick of the week because I posted it. But this one, rather than having a bunch of little side stories, which is uh, how a lot of them have been happening, like you've gotten two or three stories. This one is one solid story. Puppy Cat gets sick and B has to nurse him. All of our favorite being Puppy Cat people are in it. So Deckard is in it, Cardamon is in it, and Cardamon is um, my favorite character. If you know me, then you know that little kids who act like adults are like my favorite like character trope. And I was super, super, super excited that he's in it. He's very, very cute in the comics and his kind of deadpan personality carries through. I should say he's very cute in the cartoon and his deadpan personality very much carries through in the comic book as well. The art style is of course very bee and puppy cat style. So it's very like pastels and pretty. And there we go. And I, um, I'm really, every single one of these that I've picked up has just been a really nice, relaxing, like gentle read that I don't have to worry about too much. And that's what I like. I like gentle reads. Though, I don't have it down here with me, but I did pick up Wicked and Divine Volume 1. So that will be in the new monthly trade video where I talk about the trades that I read this month because it's going to take me more than 20 minutes to read that trade. So, especially because I'm not working at uh, Watch Repair anymore, which is where I did most of my reading. So that will be uh, at the beginning slash end of the month, I will do a video with all the trades that I've read and all the stuff that's coming up in the next month that I'm really excited about. And I picked up all of these, obviously, at my local comic book shop. I will link below to uh, probably the website because you can get to everything from the website. And if you live in the Detroit Dearborn area, then you should definitely check out Green Brain as there are, if you are a girl, there are lots of girls there and we are very friendly to ladies. And if you are a boy, you should also come because who isn't friendly? We're friendly to everybody. Are you a non-gendered interdimensional space traveler? We would also be friendly to you because we are friendly people excited about comics. And I am excited about comics. And if I'm there, then I will definitely be friendly to you. Anyway, so those are my picks for this week. And uh, I am very excited to talk more about comics with you. And I will see you babies later. Okay, bye.